So this is the latest Pixel Experience Plus edition for my Redmi Note 10 and I'll be giving its full final review after using more than 15 to 20 days. So let's get started with the video without wasting a further ado. And there is a small request if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and give a like to this video. So let's get started. So as you can see that I've been using my Redmi Note 10 and uh, what is my initial impressions goes firstly up talking about the smoothness. So as you can see that I'm opening closing any application there is no jitter lag whatsoever that I gotta face so far and there isn't any issues over the lagging starters and opening and closing any apps I already told you. And now if I talked about any such type of customizations there isn't any sort of customizations yeah in the plus build you get few customizations in the gestures options and buttons the status bar that you already know from a long time from version of and whenever pixel experience plus is being released so this is not a new thing that to talk about in this room now talking about the stability of this custom room yeah this custom room forms a damn great stability over there firstly i want to talk about like uh, I have took such, such such benchmarks like ben, uh, DRM info and here you are getting the L1 security level for the Netflix so you are able to run your Prime Video Netflix in the full HD version also. Now talking about the safety status, does it pass or not? This is the Pixel Experience one so it is being passed and CTS profile does also passed as you can see clearly. Now talking about the what is the photo spoofing is it available or not in my device? So you can see that this pixel can back up unlimited photos and storage. So there isn't any issues over that also. And if I talk about the, what do you say, device certification over the Play Store, uh, because if you unlock the bootloader of the Redmi devices, you get uncertified. But in this room, your device is uncertified and the latest Play Store version is being used. So if you want to use any, so if you want to use any banking such apps, you can also try out in your device. No issues you gonna face over the banking apps also. Now if I talk about the core in the settings what we are getting so ever. So first of all in the network internet setting I am not any sort of issues over the calls. Call, there is no call drops, lag of the networks. Even call deceptions is also good in this room. Now talking about the Wi-Fi I am having a 100 Mbps connection and my 100 Mbps connection is working fine. So there isn't any issues over the Wi-Fi also. And uh, there is not a new thing, it is adaptive connectivity that you all gonna know. Firstly, I talked about the apps. There is a default apps here, you can get the pixel launcher over there. And there is normal default settings. App battery usage is also been here, so you can you know, try out and check it out how it works. And talking about notification, you get the notification history over there. And if you can enable over from here, bubbles option is also there. And in my usage, I haven't seen any bubble usage, but okay, no issues. That's gonna working. If I talk about the battery usage, so you can see that the battery usage, I've took the, what do you say, I have been using it for 15 days, but due to some reason, I have to format this device, so I have again flashed the Pixel experience. But in my past usage of the same room on this device, I'm gonna be making this video. So battery usage is also good, but the draining of the battery is is little bit faster but the charging of 33 watt is full and fully loaded over my device it charges like a f what do you say it charges like full 33 watt support and even gets its full charge in less than up to 50 percent in 30 minutes so you can and anyhow you can guess how it fast works in the display section you can see that nothing new is there notch behavior is the new option you can see that you can select the hidden option and that's gonna also work hidden but no one likes that hidden so i'll also gonna like that so there is nothing new and this is the wallpaper and styles option is there you can select the color of that theme according to your preference likewise i have changed and you can see that it gonna change into full blue pink and if you want to get these such kind of wallpapers you can contact me on my telegram channel i'll be gonna give you that as the upgrade 5 cross 5 everything is available over there and now talking about the security status, you are getting the face and fingerprint unlock both. So there isn't any issues over there. And already on the systems, languages and input option is there. App languages support. There is not much app languages support given in this room. So you can think about that. System update is there. You can use Dirty Flash. 
there isn't any issue without any data loss you can flash the new update in this custom room as you can see that so there is nothing new but in my recommendation if you want to get a cleaner experience you must have to do a clean flash and use that in rom so this is all about the about the section and you get equipped with the security of the 5th march and the kernel version is pixel experience itself and android 13 is there so in my full and final review i can say how can i recommend is that like you can use this custom rom in your redmi note 10 i've been used in for 15 days if you have a little bit of concern about the battery don't gonna use but okay battery not so bad charging is also fine banking apps do work but if you have lots of money in the bank account don't gonna use this okay so i think it's now time to say bye bye so i'll be going to meet you in the next video till then